Well, hello YouTube, it's your girl Jane coming at you with another video. So as you can tell by the title, this is another update video. The last update I did was about seven months ago. It was around April or May of this year, and now we're in December. 2017 is almost over. Like, this is crazy to me. Like, it's crazy. I feel like... We just got into 2017, but you know what? Time's not gonna stop, so why should we? Today is December 27th, and I'm just giving you guys the last bit of updates that I have for this year. I told you guys in my last update video that I was gonna start pumping out videos more often. Well, life has happened once again. Um, but that's what this update is for, to let you guys know what I've been doing, what I'm planning on doing, things like that. So if you guys are interested in seeing this second update that I have of the year, then just go ahead and just keep on watching. All right, y'all, so this video is long overdue. I have so many plans that I have. It's actually really scary, <laughs> but 2018 is going to be a very eventful year. I can just feel it. But I know that I'm going to make 2018 better than 2017 because 2017 was better than 2016 and so forth. With that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys Merry Belated Christmas, Happy New Year. I'm so excited to see what 2018 has in store for you guys and also myself. So, Happy New Year, Merry Belated Christmas. I'm so excited. <laughs> Starting off this update, I'm just going to jump right into it. Honestly, the reason why I haven't been posting as often is because I'm in school. I'm taking two to three classes each semester. I started taking classes in the summertime. There's a lot of people who have questions about school and going to school while you're in upgrade training or doing your CECs or after you get out of basic and you're in tech school. I can do a complete video about that because I do get a lot of those questions. So again, if you guys want to see that, I'll go ahead and put that out for you because I haven't done an Air Force video in a while and I'm kind of missing it to be honest. I'm itching to do more of like educational videos again um, about education and about the benefits of the Air Force. So yeah, I'm going to definitely do that for you guys. So yes, I'm, I've been in school. Um, I received my associate's degree with the Air Force. I can talk a little bit more about that in that video as well. Yeah. Another reason why I wasn't filming as often was because I was in the process of moving. I moved into my current apartment in May and it took me a while to actually get settled in and to get all of my decorations together and just to get my house feeling like a home. So that was another thing. I didn't feel comfortable with filming in my apartment because it wasn't completely ready yet. And I'm I mean I still have things that I'm missing but overall I do feel a lot more comfortable with filming in my apartment so yes if you guys want to see an apartment tour I can go ahead and do that for you guys maybe around the springtime when I put up new decorations because right now I still have my Christmas decorations up and it's no longer Christmas so I don't want to post a late Christmas home decor because I can't give anyone ideas about this year because Christmas has already passed so that's that Another update that I have is um, I have two new babies. I have two new kittens that are in my life. They're currently eating right now. I wanted to keep them distracted while I was filming because they're very loud. If you follow me on Snapchat, I always have them on Snapchat. So if you haven't followed me on Snapchat, go ahead and go in the description box down below. You can find all of my social media there. If you guys hit me up on Snapchat, if you hit me up on Instagram, just let me know that you're from my YouTube and I, I always respond. So, But yeah, I always put them on my Snapchat. They're always in my personal space, so I'm always complaining about that. But I love my babies and... They're just different spirits in my house and they just really lift me up and they give me something to look forward to versus me just coming home and being home by myself. So, Also, I've honestly just been trying to work on myself as an individual, as a future wife, as a future partner. I've just been working on myself. So not only have I been going to school and trying to live my life and trying to, you know, just take in what I have going on, but I've just been working on myself slowly but surely. It's just a lot of elements of a life that I've just been working on myself in, and I've written down my goals for 2018, and I'm going to stick to those goals because this year I noticed that I had goals, and I worked towards them, but just ever so slowly. It was just so slow. I couldn't even really, you know, make 
a dent into what I wanted to get into because I was going so slowly and I was doing so much at a time. So I have my top five goals of 2018, one of which being more consistent on YouTube because I really want to get this information out here to you guys and I, I know that you guys are interested in what I have to say. So I just want to just keep giving all of my energy to you guys. Not only that, but also giving my energy to school. So I may not have as much as a social life, but I just want to be able to at least talk to you guys and let you guys know what to expect if you are in the situation that I'm in as far as like being in the military, especially the Air Force. So. Most importantly though, out of all of these updates, this update that I'm about to give you guys is very near and dear to my heart and I know that you guys are going to support me because ever since I've told a few close people in my life or a good amount of close people in my life I've gotten almost nothing but you know support and love there have been some people who have been questioning me and it's just because they love me and they don't want to see me fail but um, I've just I've gotten a lot of positive vibes and a lot of positive feedback for what I'm about to tell you guys. And I do consider you guys to be my friends. I consider you guys to be my family. So whatever is going on in my life, for the most part, I'm going to share it with you guys. So I have decided to become a mother. And I am not currently pregnant right now as I'm recording this video or when this video goes up. But I am going to start tracking my process. I have already started my process. I'm actually at the end stages of my process. So in about a month or so, I should be having this procedure done to conceive a child. So if you're wondering, I am going to get an IUI, which is an intrauterine insemination. I'm not going to have intercourse with the male. Um, the donor that I've selected is an unknown donor. I got him from a cryobank online. I'm going to make a whole separate video about this topic in particular because I know there's individuals who are same-sex couples, single mothers, or heterosexual couples who are wanting to conceive and who can't for whatever reason. So I want to give my perspective and give my journey a go around on YouTube and just let the world know um, just so they know that there's other options. So I'm not married. I am going to do this process pretty much on my own, but I do have a lot of people in my life who support me. So I'm not really alone. <laughs> I'm not really alone, but I'm not married. And I have decided to go through this process by myself and, you know, if it's meant to be, a relationship will happen. If it's meant to be, someone special in my life will come along. But that's not why I wanted to have a child. I didn't necessarily want to have a child to share with someone. I just wanted to have a child or I want to have a child for myself. I've always wanted to be a mother. Um, the question that I get a lot is, like, why would you do it on your own? You're so young. You need to live your life. And honestly, the Air Force is going to pay for my insemination. The only thing that I have to pay for is my vial of uh, sperm, the specimen. And that is a tremendously low cost compared to what I would be paying in the civilian sector. So this opportunity that I have is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I'm just taking advantage of it, not only because I have the resources, but because I do feel like I am as ready as I can be. No no one's ever ready to have a child completely. People are more prepared than others, but um, in the situation that I'm in right now, in the space that I'm in right now, I do believe that having a child is a good option for me. Um, I could be in a better situation, like I could be married, I could have two incomes, but at the end of the day, um, it's a decision that I'm deciding to make and I know the consequences positive and negative for my decision so I'm aware of the hardships I'm aware of the pros I'm aware of everything that could go on but me personally in my life I do believe that this is a good choice for me I am trying to become a mother 
Hopefully it happens the first time. I might try a total of three times before I take a break because this procedure is not cheap by any means and even though I'm not paying for the actual procedure, I am paying for the specimen which is definitely not cheap. So me doing about two to three cycles, I feel like will give me a good chance at becoming a mother. If it works the first time, great. If it doesn't, then I'll try again. If I am emotionally ready if i'm not emotionally ready to try the next cycle then i'll just wait it out but i'll let you guys know the whole process i really do hope that all of my hard work pays off at the end of the day there's going to be ups and downs there are going to be hardships there's going to be great times and there are going to be bad times just how just like 2017 was for me but overall like I just have a good feeling about 2018 and I'm going into 2018 very confident. I haven't felt this good about a new year in so long and I don't know. I'm just really excited y'all. I really hope you guys are as excited as I am to be, you know, YouTube family members, to meet the baby, to go through the process with me and I just really hope that you guys stick around for it yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching i know this update was very short but i just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on in my life recently and my big announcement about having a child so i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching thank you guys. happy new year